every week, millions of people in the UK, the USA, and all around the world buy lottery tickets. The chances of becoming a millionaire just by buying a lottery ticket seems too hard to pass up. But despite us hearing about winners on the news every week, chances are that you, or no one else you've ever heard of, has won the lottery. People say it's nearly impossible to win the lottery. So, what are the odds of you winning it big? And what unlikely events are more likely to happen to you than winning the lottery? So, let's begin by working out what the odds of you winning the lottery are. As an example, let's take the UK lottery. In the UK lottery, you have to pick the six winning numbers from the 59 possible numbers. That means that your chances of winning the lottery are the total number of different combinations of six numbers that you can pick. Now, the different combinations start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, all the way up to 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Now, we could count the total number of different combinations of six numbers that there are, or we can do a little bit of maths, which tells us the number of combinations of six numbers there are is 45,057,474. That means that your chances of winning the lottery are over 1 in 45 million. This means that to guarantee winning the lottery, you have to buy over 45 million lottery tickets. It's not very good odds, is it? But how bad odds are they? What unlikely kind of events are more likely to occur than winning the lottery? So, let's start simple. Let's start by flipping a coin. Now, the chances of flipping a coin and getting a head is one in two, or one half. And that's because there are two sides to the coin, and only one of them is a head. Now let's say you flip two coins. What's the chance of you getting two heads in a row? Well, that's one half multiplied by one half, which gives you one quarter, or one four. So there's one in four chance of you flipping a coin two times and getting two heads in a row. Three heads in a row is one over eight, one eighth. Four heads in a row is one sixteenth, and so on and so forth. So the more coins you flip, you want it to get more heads in a row the less likely it becomes. So, how many times would you have to flip a coin and get heads every single time to have similar odds as winning the lottery? Well, you have to flip a coin and get heads 25 times in a row. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but have a go at flipping a coin and see how many times you get heads in a row. And I bet you'll get nowhere near 25 times in a row. That's because to get 25 heads in a row is around a 1 in 45 million chance. It's not very likely. Now, some people say that you're more likely to be struck by lightning than win the national lottery. But is that true? You can't imagine that many people get struck by lightning each year. But actually, your chance of being struck by lightning are 1 in 10 million. This means you're around 5 times more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to win the National Lottery. Now, that's pretty scary. But what if lightning isn't your preferred choice of dying? Well, you're around one in six million chance of being killed by a bee or a wasp. That means you're seven times more likely to be killed by a bee than you are to win the lottery. What about snake bites? You're 13 times more likely to die from a snake bite than you are for winning the lottery. Or, more strangely, if you're a left-handed person, you're 10 times more likely at dying by using a right-handed tool than you are at winning the lottery. Completely bizarre. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are some really happy things that are more likely to happen to you than winning the national lottery. You're four times more likely at becoming an astronaut than winning the lottery, four times more likely at becoming the president of the USA, and 30 times more likely at becoming a Hollywood star. Now, I hope I convince you that your chances of winning the lottery are pretty slim, but how about a game to prove just how unlikely it is? Find a friend and get them to think of a number in the head between 1 and 45 million, 57,474. When they've thought of one, you try and guess the number. I bet it be a while before you manage to guess the correct number that they thought of. And this is the exact same odds as it is for you winning the lottery. Now, if you're a big gambler, like playing the lottery, then maybe you play poker as well. 
The best hand in poker is a royal flush. That's the 10 jack, queen, king and ace, all of the same suit. That's a pretty rare event, but what are the chances of you getting a royal flush? Well actually, it's only 1 in 650,000. That's 70 times more likely than winning the national lottery. It seems actually pretty good odds there, and it's a lot more fun than filling in lots of lottery tickets. But let's say you've not been convinced so far, and you've decided that you still want to play the lottery. Now, let's say that you buy one lottery ticket every single week between the ages 18 and to 100. What are your chances of winning the lottery once during your lifetime? So, 100 years minus 18 years means you'll be playing for 82 years of your life. There are 52 weeks in a year, which means during your lifetime you'll buy 4,264 lottery tickets. But your chances of winning are 1 in 45 million. That means you have an incredibly small chance of ever winning the lottery, even if you buy a single ticket every single week of your life. In fact, to have a good chance of winning, you'd have to buy 10,000 lottery tickets every single week. Imagine trying to fill in all those tickets. Now finally, let me give you one more bit of evidence for how unlikely it is that you'll win the national lottery. Four-leaf clovers are thought to be very rare and unusual. So what are your chances of finding a four-leaf clover compared to winning the lottery? Well, one in 10,000 clover are four-leafed. That means you're four and a half thousand times more likely of finding a four-leaf clover than you are of winning the national lottery. So there you have it. Your odds of winning the lottery are one in 45 million. That means you're more likely to become the president of the USA, find a four-leaf clover, or be struck by lightning than winning the lottery. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel for some great videos. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and find me on Twitter at UKAstrona. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys all soon.